Thank you for the invitation of the conference. My name is Ning Jing Hong. Me and Dr. Liu Yi, we both come from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. We are very pleased to join this forum and, and share our study on the topic of attention distribution and integration of non-native segments and tones by early multilingual speakers. In the first part, I will make a brief introduction on how previous relevant studies and uh, explain what is selective attention, why it is important to the non-native speech perception, and why we choose the early multilinguals as the target subject group. In most cases, listeners are exposed to a large variety of information, but listeners can uh, ignore the distracting information and selectively focus only on the topic. This is about the selective attention. So the selective attention is the ability to distribute your attention to a special dimension and at the same time ignore other distracting or irrelevant dimensions. Now here we talk about two attentional behaviors, distribute attention and integrate attention. Why attention is important to the speech perception? From the perspective of psycholinguistic, language perception is the process of selecting, organizing, and interpreting information. Selecting is the first part of per, uh, perception process, where we focus our attention on a certain incoming sensory information. Also, the speech perception is a purposeful and information-seeking activity. Firstly, we are exposed to a large variety of sound stimuli. We have to select acoustic features which are informative and salient enough to us to make them to pass through our perceptual filters into our phonetic categories, into our phonemic categories, and then interpret them into lexical meanings. The speech perception is a Actually, it's a bottom-up process, so the select of acoustic features, which happens from the first stage of the perception, should be fundamental and super important. And according to the uh, automatic selective perception model, we call it the ASP model hereafter, this selective activity is driven by a highly overlearned and a highly automatic program which is called selective perceptual routine. With the help of such perceptual routine, listeners can distribute their attention to the most reliable acoustic parameters. According to this mo model, the perceptual routine is a language-specific one. It suggests that the non-native listeners who fail to attend to an L2-specific acoustic dimension, which does not exist in their first language system, because they don't have an L2-specific perceptual routine. Only the native listeners are able to automatically extract information from uh, the linguistic conditions. The differences between the native and the non-native listeners would be more significant when conducting a high-memory demanding task. For example, when perceiving a speech sound, tonal listeners um, may pay simultaneous attention to both segmental and tonal dimensions that will integrate the two aspects. In order to acquire linguistic information from the speech, non-tonal listeners might find it hard to allocate their attention to the tonal dimension because they don't have sensitivity towards tones. In other words, the tonal and the non-tonal listeners may use totally different attentional routines in, in the perceiving of segments. According to the uh, research on ASP model, L2 specific, specific perceptual routine is expected to be gradually acquired by non-tonal speakers as they gain L2 experiences. However, it remains unclear how sensitive non-tonal speakers are towards tonal information when they have already developed into highly experienced language learners or even uh, bilingual or multilingual speakers, and the current study aims to fill this gap. For this, native Cantonese speakers and Urdu Cantonese speakers were invited to attend a serious cognitively demanding tasks, which we adopted uh, by Zoting 
uh, when studying Mandarin in uh, 2017. Before we introduce the experiment design, we make a quick glance at the research on bilingual or multilingual speakers. There are two views about the bilinguals, how the bilinguals uh, accommodate the first and second language systems. The two category will states that the early, uh, the early bilinguals, the two systems of the bilinguals are independently developed and stored totally separately, without necessary influence with, uh, with each other. The native language experiences seem not influenced in the perception of L2 speech for the early bilinguals. In contrast, the one category will suggest that the influence of the first language will never be ignored by early bilinguals due to the language overlap and the bilinguals should be regarded as unique configured population instead of the two language co-native listeners. In the current study, we brought up three questions. Can multilinguals successfully discriminate Cantonese lexical tones? Do multilinguals' native attentional routine influence on the non-native perception? 18 healthy multilingual speakers whose first language is Urdu and 20 native Cantonese speakers who selected, were selected as subjects. They were year one students who were studying in local secondary schools. The multilingual participants were exposed only to Urdu during the first one or two years of their lives and immigrated to Hong Kong at two or three years old. They started learning Cantonese at the age of four to five years old and began learning English at the age of four to six years old. The multilingual students uh, only used Urdu at home and utilized both English and Cantonese as instruction language at school. The time of experiment, other multilingual participants have been had living in Hong Kong continuously for more than nine years. Two non-work pairs were selected with Cantonese high rising or low falling tone on the initial syllabus. Uh, and uh, the second syllable for each disyllabic numbers was utilized as Cantonese high level tone, similar to the stimuli uh, conducted by Zotin. Three native Cantonese speakers were invited to record the disyllabus. ABX test was adopted as test method with four conditions, namely the first segment condition, first tone condition, segment and the tone condition and the segment or tone condition. In the first trial of segment and the tone condition, listeners are provided with accurate segments and, and the tone in A or B. And in the trial of segment or tone condition, A or B only contains one correct dimensions of segment or tone. For example, accurate tone appears in A an accurate segment appears in B and vice versa. The trial of segment word tone only allows the listeners to choose one dimension, being forced to ignore the other. Thus, comparing the results of two trials help us to examine how bilinguals and Cantonese native speakers distribute their attention between tones and the segments. In the fourth segment condition, the accurate segment will appear in A or B. In the fossil tone condition, the accurate tone information will appear in A or B. And, uh, uh, and by comparing the first segment condition and the first tone condition, we can see how uh, the listeners integrate uh, two dimensions of segment and tone. The experiment was carried out through E prime. Each participant was seated in front of the computer in a quiet classroom in the uh, local secondary schools. Instructions were uh, given only in Cantonese and all participants were properly uh, briefed about the procedure. They were asked to listen to three syllables 
A, B, and X and indicate if X sounded more similar to A or B by a mouse click on one or two shown on their computer screen. In the results, we collect response rate. For the segment or tone condition, response rate stands for the seg segment-based percentage because there is no correct answer in this part. We use the linear mi uh, mixed effect model with the test field of individual response rate. The model reported significant main effects and the interaction of subject group and the, the condition. The subject group uh, uh, stands for the uh, Cantonese native speakers and uh, the multilingual speakers and the condition stands for the four experimental conditions. We first move to the results of post hoc test. Both the native and the multilingual speakers got a high ACE response rate in the segment uh, and the tone condition comparing with the other conditions here. We bo uh, when both segmental and the tonal information was provided, the multilingual speakers could precise tones as phonologically as native speakers did. This is in line with the statements in the ASP model indicating that when an easy perception task is conducted, it is possible for listeners to obtain a performance comparable with that of native speakers because they have enough time and attentional resources to extract sufficient information to make an accurate decision. Uh, in the segment or tone condition, listeners were allowed to make responses along the accurate phonetic dimension. By this, uh, we can see how the multi uh, listeners distributed their limit limited attention along segments and tones. The native group showed a lower response rate, I mean the segment percentage, than the non-native group. It does demonstrated that the native listeners redistributed their attention along both the segmental and the tonal dimensions while the multilinguals classified the stimuli mainly along the segmental dimension. Mainly, but not only. With regard to how the listeners integrated the tones and the segmental dimensions, we compare the results of the first three conditions. The current results shows that, as in the figure, the natives could perceive more accurately than their multilingual counterparts in both the false segment condition and the false tone condition. It thus illustrated that either supersegmental or uh, segmental mismatch would uh, would largely hinder the perception for all the listeners, but it was likely that the multilinguals were affected more than the native speakers. As introduced pr uh, previously, uh, previous research illustrated that less experienced language learners, uh, maybe naive or beginners, can easily ignore the tonal dimension which does not convey lexical meanings in their first language, and the mismatch in the tonal dimension will not significantly influence their processing of non-native syllabus. So for the less experienced listeners, for example, in a voting study, they would, the, 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 the learners would get as high accuracy in the first segment condition as in the segment and the tone condition. However, the multilingual speakers in this study obtained significantly lower accuracy in both false tone and false segment condition, which is different from less experienced language learners of a tonal language as shown uh, in the study by Zoting. So the multilinguals in the current study did not neglect tonal information and did not develop a perfect a perfect Cantonese like attentional integrating. Uh, the current study was investigated early multilingual speakers' uh, distribution and the integration of attention towards tonal and segment when precising Cantonese tones. Uh, the study supports the 
uh, predictions in ASP model, and it also suggests uh, that uh, the two language system can be stored in one category. So we suppose a one category will for, uh, for multilingual speakers. Uh, we can see that the segment dependent strategy the listeners used in Urdu and English systems may hinder the attention distribution and integration of Cantonese segments and tones for the uh, multilinguals. In this sense, the multilinguals in the current case can be treated as different and a unique group from the native one. Uh, that's all. Uh, may you good health and thank you for listening.